Back, you're still watching your story on SA Today. Sandra Beswick, a board member of the PIC, the Public Investment Corporation, took to the stand at the Commission of Inquiry today, also telling of a divided board. She says uh, the current board chairperson, Mondli Gungubele, was undermining his own board in public and thus raised further divisions among board members. Beswick says she doesn't see any benefit in having a deputy minister as the chairperson of the board as this introduces political connotations to the institution. The firing of then Finance Minister Pravin Godan and Deputy Finance Minister Mkibisi Jonas two years ago worried her and sparked fears of a risk of state capture at the PIC. She says the subsequent appointment of Malusi Gigaba as Finance Minister and Sfiso Butelezi as his deputy exacerbated these fears. Best week says all board and committee meetings were suspended for three months as Gigaba said he wanted to familiarize himself with the PIC, which she considered highly irregular. She says it seemed plausible that the PIC could be a target for state capture because they were managing one crisis after another. Highly confidential documents including board papers, transaction reports and correspondence were leaked to the media and other external parties. Board meetings became highly contentious and strong divisions of mistrust between board members became apparent. Witness. Evidence leader advocate Yanni Lieber says board chairman Monli Gungubele has confirmed that he indeed received a call from finance minister Tito Mboweni while at a board meeting. The call was apparently an instruction to the board to resign or face being fired. Beswick also confirmed this version of events. The finance minister was allegedly angry at the allegations contained in the mails and said the board should consider resigning immediately immediately failing which he will fire us and appoint an interim board within the next week. I emphasize that the chairperson was the only channel of communication with the finance minister and we did not speak to him directly. This demand was highly irregular because the repercussions could be disastrous for the PIC, it could lose its phase license and was in contravention of the Companies Act for a company not to have a board. The commission has agent until next week Monday. Lourdes Fagomosi, SABC News, Johannesburg.